This definition is sickening. <laughs> wow. video one of you guys face in particular I am showing you guys my newest routine to achieving a pop and define top tier wash and go on my type for natural hair I personally shook myself when I recently did this wash and go on my hair and to be honest I didn't even know it was gonna turn out that popping which is why I didn't even film the process it was really really quick actually just trying to refresh my hair because it was looking real rough and I had the J. Cole concert coming up so I'm like you know what beauty gang has been obsessing over it y'all been asking me and we're gonna get the tutorial sis so why not because as y'all can see my hair is looking real ratchet right now so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through the steps very very easy so without further ado let's hop into this video alrighty so first things first I have some warm to hot water going on in the shower I'm gonna go ahead and drench my hair now as you guys see me doing the squeeze effect in my hair it's because I just did the same method previously and the product that I use is pretty heavy so you just see me kind of squeezing out all that leftover product residue before I hop into to actually detangling my hair. So speaking of, I am going in with my favorite Ozzy Moist Deep Conditioner, my OGs know, and I like to put it all over the first section before I create my first subsection and begin finger detangling, which I will say finger detangling along with the styling tool I will be using are big components to making sure this style comes out popping, you guys. So I make sure I thoroughly finger detangle each subsection before I go in with this tangle teaser. And with the tangle teaser, I make sure I start from ends and work my way up to the roots. After I'm done thoroughly detangling the section, I go ahead and two strand twist it away. I repeat the same process all over my hair as I go, showing from the back view, finger detangling first. Then I go in with the tangle teaser into root. Mm -hmm. Then I go ahead and two strand twist it away. It's a very simple process, but it'll one, make your wash day so much easier, and two, again, make your wash and go come out super popping because your hair is fully detangled. So your curls, coils, kinks will already be at their best natural form prior to adding any product in. Once I'm done thoroughly detangling my hair, this is what it's looking like. I make sure the perimeter, so the kitchen, the edges have a little love too, a little TLC. Before I go ahead and rinse the product out, as you can see here, that is what I'm doing. In order for this style to turn out as popping as possible, we definitely have to start on super clean hair. So after I'm done rinsing the product out, it's time to go in with my favorite shampoo, the Gold Series from Pantene Moisture Boost. I focus it all around my scalp, as you can see here. I make sure I really get in there because my hair was dirty y'all I'm not even gonna lie to you y'all saw how much product was in it in the beginning of this video so get the kitchen area get all over there I maybe went in a little too hard on the shampoo but after I'm done cleansing my scalp I do make sure I bring the shampoo down my hair shaft so my hair is fully clean I don't really manipulate it all that much I just make sure that all my hair is coated in the shampoo prior to rinsing it out as you can see here I usually rinse out my hair for a good five minutes just to make sure there is no shampoo left in it whatsoever especially when I go in like I just was so after everything is rinsed out now here's the part y'all have been waiting for I am going to go ahead and take down all the subsections per section if that makes sense so we're doing the back right corner I believe first this is the key part drenching the section after all the subsections are taken down you have to do this on drenched hair well drenched and detangled hair which is why we detangled the hair prior to shampooing it and thankfully the shampoo isn't stripping so my hair is still detangled after taking down the subsections now it's time to go in with this alcohol free extreme pro expert gel I take a healthy amount y'all know how people say dime size we don't do dime size over here we do at least three four quarters worth and as you just saw me kind of dip my hands under the water water mixed with this product makes for the perfect amount of slip which is why my fingers are just able to glide through my curls it's basically like I'm finger detangling my hair all over again the same kind of like technique I was using to detangle my hair in the first place in the beginning of this video is pretty much the same technique I'm using now to separate my curls and shingle them and if you do it right this is the type of definition well maybe you don't have my exact hair type but you feel me like the definition of your curls is gonna be a one top tier 
I repeat the same exact steps for each section of my hair. As you can see here, the next section I am drenching, then grabbing a healthy amount of gel, applying it to the section, and kind of just finger detangling, shingling, if you've ever heard of the shingle method. As you can see even here, I'm giving you guys a slow-mo close-up of how I pull my hair apart. But to make sure the curls remain defined and clump together nicely, I just glide my fingertips down the hair shaft, and that helps to clump the curls perfectly. And you know the cool thing to me about this method, this is a legit wash and go. Like you're in and out of this situation pretty fast. And with working on drenched hair, you can still manipulate it as you go without running the risk of your hair tangling or frizzing up like it might in other styles. But just to show you guys the method one more time, drench your section, create your subsections, add a healthy amount of gel to the situation and begin to shingle, finger to tangle, whatever method works for you. And then just like that, that your curls are gonna be clumped, defined, popping, top tier energy, sis. Now this is what my hair was looking like after I finished completing the steps to each section of my hair. We got body, we got movement, we got definition, we got it all. All right, gang, what did I tell y'all? Wasn't that way easier than what you even expected, y'all? When I discovered this, I, I don't know what made me randomly just be like, well, you know what? I was in a rush. I just needed my hair to look good quick. So I feel like this is probably gonna be my new staple method when I do wash and goes. Now, I do want to mention, however, although yes, you get your hair popping and on point and whatnot, I wouldn't say I would do this like all too frequently, only because wash and goes in general, at least for my type for natural hair, I get a lot of single strand knots, fairy knots, some people know them as breakage and tangles and stuff like that. So that's why you guys don't see me rock a wash and go all that much, but I feel like I have finally found a true wash and go method like that was so quick and i honestly could have made it quicker if i wasn't filming for you guys what i also would say too like even right now since my hair is still relatively drenched if i want to detangle my roots a little bit more and stuff my hair is still wet enough and has a decent amount of slip still where it won't disrupt the curls but i will say once your hair is exactly how you want it your curls are defined the way you want do not touch it that is the other major key to accomplishing a super bomb wash and go on your type 4 natural hair don't touch it. I let my hair air dry all the time. Um, usually it takes two, maybe three days max. If you have like a diffuser or whatever, you can do that, but I don't. I always let my hair air dry and then that's when I start manipulating it, maybe stretching the roots because it does have hang time right now, but it's going to shrink the freak up in the next couple days. And you know what? I'm not even mad at the shrinkage. I used to hate on shrinkage a lot, like, mm, it's making me look bald head or whatever, but especially after earlier this year when my hair took a hit and my curls was looking scarce and you know, you know, I started learning to appreciate and love on my hair a lot more for what it is. And at the end of the day, shrinkage shows that your hair is healthy. So, you know, I always say health over length. That's what we're going for right now. And can we get into the length just for a second though? My hair is definitely growing back. <laughs> and we haven't even entered wig season yet. So anyway, I feel like I've rambled enough. Those are the key pieces. Only manipulate your hair while it's still pretty much drenched. Let it air dry and then you can start playing with it, you know? But I'm gonna give you guys one more 360 turn. I know y'all are loving this definition as much as me. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know my curls were just popping to be honest until I did this method. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Actually, let me start over again because I talked. Well, 360, give you a little swing. Eh. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Okay. Anyway, I will check in with you guys when my hair is dry. So it's been about 48 to 72 hours, and my hair. <sighs> I would say it's like 92% dry. Literally just this crown area, it's damp. It's not even wet anymore. But I'm ready to stretch out my hair. This is what the shrinkage is looking like, by the way. I told y'all, the shrinkage is gonna get real, but it means help, so it's okay. Um, I actually already have, I think, a specific dedicated video to how I'm about to stretch my hair, so I'm gonna montage it for you guys, but I will try to link um, the video in the description box below on like a detailed step-by-step -step of how I like to stretch my uh, curls. But, all right, let's get into this. So, 
now that my hair is in its stretch state, I feel like this is like my official day one. I was thinking about cutting the video after I stretched my hair, but I'm gonna give it like two, three days to get voluminous and big. And I'm gonna come back to you guys and really show y'all how bomb this wash and go is gonna turn out based off the method that I use. So this is official day one hair. <laughs> Although, my hair has been drying for like two to three days. Natural hair is crazy. This is what it looks like. Well, I don't even know what it looks like in the back. Hopefully it looks cute. <laughs> but this is what it looks like in the back. I don't even think I'm gonna use my pick just yet, just cause like I said, the crown area is still a little bit damp. For today, I just wanted to get that elongation going, okay? So, official day one, complete. Check in with y'all soon. Alrighty y'all, as promised, I told y'all I would show you my hair when it is in its full essence, okay? And I looked on my phone before hopping on camera, y'all, this is day six hair. Day six being like when my hair was first like wet and the gel and all that stuff, like when I was in the shower, basically earlier in this video. That day to now, it's been six days and these are my final results. I am literally in love with my hair. Like the definition, the fullness, like it's thick up in there too, y'all. And whenever my hair gets to this point sometimes I just wonder myself how did I ever have like I wouldn't say I had a hate for my hair but I, I I didn't love it at one point in my life and now it's just like easy how could you ever sleep on your type 4 curls like do y'all see <laughs> y'all see this definition oh something i do want to mention i did do off camera just the perimeter of my hair so literally like almost the edges a little bit i did dampen a bit and put more gel the gel that i used to style my hair in the first place i just put that along the edges because you know i pineapple my hair every night it's been through a couple things here and there so i just wanted it to look a little bit more fresh so that's why maybe like this curl is crispy, whereas this curl is a little bit like looser, but the definition is still there. So yeah, just to refresh my style or your wash and go, if you plan to do the same process, don't hesitate to refresh along the hairline, okay? Because it can definitely make your style go from mm, to baboon, all right? I am loving the way my hair is looking like it is actually coming back. If not, potentially better like my OGs know my hair went through some things earlier this year and I was scared y'all I'm not gonna lie I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to get my hair back to what it was and although I would say it still needs to more length compared to what it was prior to the damage that happened earlier this year the definition is definitely back the health is coming back and that's all I kind of care about at this point so I am very happy with how my hair came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hashtag keep the curls coming if you guys want me to continue the natural hair content before I go into wig season, because I'm not gonna lie, eventually we're gonna get there, y'all, because I am, I am still going for the length. I can't act like I don't care about the length, but it's not like a huge deal. Length and break, though. A lot of the time when I'm going to my wig season, I just need a break. Right now, though, I I'm cool. Like, me and my natural hair, we like this. And let me give y'all one more three. 60 or did I give you one at all? Mm. Let's get it real slow. Yes. Oh, get a little definition in the back. Go ahead and get a little view of that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, this came out cute. As you can see, I am feeling myself. I do think, although my hair does have like a shape to it, I don't know. Sometimes when I be seeing other naturals, I'll be like, that shape will be kind of cute. Like, I have bangs. And my right side has always been longer than my left. So, even if... Let me show y'all how it looks down the middle. Fluff that out a little bit. Yeah, I feel like you can kind of tell. Yeah, the right side is definitely longer and bigger and fuller than the left. It's not too, too noticeable, but... It's just something I think about sometimes when it comes to the shape of my hair. If I ever want to like actually shape it or possibly get it shaped, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new because Beauty Gang is clearly lit. Boo. Until next time, guys. Bye.